What's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Clarus. And this is a trailer reaction mm -hmm. to the second trailer for Andor. Mm -hmm. It's also our first trailer reaction to playing 10K. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Wow. All right. Yeah. We're a well-oiled machine. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We're very professional um, Y'all. up in here. <laughs> the last time we got an Andor trailer was Star Wars Celebration. It was very exciting. Mm -hmm. And I will say this. It made me very excited for Mon Mothma. Yes. Even more so for her finally wearing a different outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's more, more of her closet, please. But uh, today I'm hopeful that we'll get a little bit more Cassian. Yes. You know, I felt like Cassian Andor, I, I don't think he even appears until like halfway through the trailer they put out last time. Yeah. So I'm hopeful this trailer introduces us a little bit more to his story. Yes, I agree. I, I would like some like specific stuff to really be able to focus on in this trailer. Mm -hmm. The last one did a great job of setting the tone. <laughs> Now I want some some story beats. Yeah, we got the vibes. Yeah. Now I want to know like who who, do, who am I going to care about in this show? Yes, exactly. And do, uh, do you think we will meet B two emo in this? B two emo. Yeah, the new droid. His name's B two emo. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I'm excited. Let's dive in. Oh God. You don't like B two emo? I. New Zealand. It's the Hobbit. With guns. That's rad. Wow. To steal from the Empire? To just walk in like you belong? Right? They're so proud of themselves. <gasps> So fat and satisfied. Ooh. I can't imagine that someone like me would ever get inside their house. <laughs> Cassian Ander. The Empire is choking us so slowly. Cassian Ander. We're starting not to notice. Ooh. What I'm asking is this. Wouldn't you rather give it all to something real? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you would. I need all the heroes I can get. For the greater good. Call Is it, it what you want. It's calling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whoa! There's fermenting out there, son. Pockets of fermenting. Very cool. You're in my net. You love a lambda clutch shuttle. Are you a fish? Or are you a thief? You're slipping. <laughs> I'm not slipping. Hmm. I've just been hiding for too long. As long as everyone thinks I'm an irritation, there's a good chance they'll miss what I'm really doing. What are you really doing? <laughs> yep, let's go. Be too emo. This is what revolution looks like. He's there. I'm tired of losing. Whoa. All right. Three episode premiere. Oh my God. No, that's so much work for us. Wait, 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 did they, wait, did they change the date? Turn 21st? Is that not what it was before? I thought it came out in August. Maybe they changed, I don't know. There's too many, too many things coming out. No, this is good for us, actually. I, I this know, makes our just... life a little bit easier. I wonder if they moved it to give She-Hulk room. Yeah, maybe. I, unless it was always September. For some reason, I thought it was August. It, it was like in like three weeks. Yeah. No, I, I don't. I don't remember. We'd have to go back and look. Um, there's a couple of shots here though that like the the this the scope of the like s the sets. I, I say sets because obviously it's not all sets, but like know, the but... the environment that they establish. But the scope. Yeah, right though. Like the galactic senate. <laughs> like this looks rad. The perspective of the shot is so cool too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then later on with all the... the Do you know what this shot reminds me of? What? Do you know all those diagrams you would get in school of the Fibonacci sequence? 
There would always be, like, in, like, math textbooks, there's always, like, the weird drawing of the Fibonacci sequence as the swirl. Yeah. The, because this is over here, it just reminds me of that. Oh, it's, also, like, slightly off-centered. Oh, my God, look, they've, Im they've, they've put the Imperial sig insignia in the floor of the Galactic Senate. Wow. I did, oh, wow. That's cool. That is very cool. Sorry, what were you saying? Um, there, yeah, no, there was just a couple shots where, like, the scope of it was so big. I loved it. I, like, it was so, so cool to see. Someone taught me a trick where you can go frame by frame. What? Yeah. Guys, we're professional reactors now. Let's go. And now I can't keep up. Yeah, I know. What, what, what you looking for? I think this is too slow a process. You know, I think you have to find <laughs> the approximate spot yeah, yeah, that you yeah, need yeah. and then go frame by frame. I'm, I'm excited to meet this lady. Me too, me too. I'm feeling she's going to be very important to Cassian. Also, wait, wait, wait. Let's get to the B2 shot because we know that B2, it was back, it was near the end, yeah. right? This guy with his forearms. Yeah, like a... Very cool. Um, he looks like... What's her face? Maz Kanata. That's the one. Yeah, the the, the face, the, the goggles really... He seems to be like full height. So yeah. I don't know if they're the same species, but yeah, but it's the the eyes. Um, this where's the one? This this is giving me uh, Attack the Clones. Yeah, Obi -Wan on, yeah, yeah. Uh, on heading out to fight Django. Yeah. Oh wow, I'm just blown away. Like this looks incredible. Yeah, for like a TV show, like right? wild. It just it doesn't look. I'm so excited for Selene's commentary's part in this. Yeah, me too. I I it's thought great. that Mon Mothma would be the one dragging Cassian in. I didn't expect her to be like, oh, no, I can't do that. I've got this other job. Yeah. So, like, you go get Cassian. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, really yeah. excited for him to do that. And the speech he gives that, like, frames this trailer is really excellent. I'm yes. so excited for that. Yes, that was fantastic. I think she scares me already. I know. And, like, a good way? Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm feeling that. Uh, the, the, shot, the shot you're looking for is further along. The B2 emo shot? Yeah, I'm almost positive. This is so exciting to me. I yeah. love getting this like political intrigue of Star Wars. Star Wars has always been political. What? <laughs> what? What? Death Troopers, let's nice. go. You, yeah, I was gonna say you love to see it, but I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if I would love to see that, you know. I mean, I'd like to go to a party with Mon Mothma. I don't know if I'm gonna find this freaking shot. Do I just need to like watch the trailer again? Yeah, yeah, it was like so brief. I know, but it, it was who he was with that was important, right? Yes, that's what I, I it looked like. Put it like... on without sound again. Um. Wow, this guy excites me. I want to know him. That's what I mean. Like all these big, long shots, like of of yeah. just like planets. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, it really is. This trailer, I'm I'm really impressed by this trailer. It it makes this show seem to have so much scope. Yeah, it doesn't look just like a TV show. I feel like ah, we've said that about but so like many this, Disney Plus things. Here's yeah. the thing: like this looks scale wise bigger than Obi Wan. Well, it just doesn't look like it's in the volume as much. And I think yeah. it's because there's these, like, really beautiful, large interiors. Yes. Her. It's Aunt Petunia. <laughs> it is Aunt Petunia, that yes. Is, that is, yeah. But is Aunt Petunia with B2 Emo? Is Aunt Petunia... Um, I should know that actress name. I feel bad that I don't off the top of my head. Uh, is she playing Cassian's mom? Mom, Because B2 maybe. Emo is Cassian's family droid. Oh, well then, yeah, maybe... Maybe she's his mom, or... Which would mean that Aunt Petunia was a separatist during the Clone Wars. And, like, I buy that. I love that. You I love to that. see it. Um, I'm happy with this. I, I think this looks great. Yeah. I, it I, was what I wanted. Yeah, I think that... The, the, there's a thing with the Star Wars shows mm -hmm. where, like, television, movie, blended in a weird way. Yeah. Um, it, It's been going on since Mandalorian. I like the style of Disney Plus shows... Not not a hundred percent. Yeah. Um. But but I do enjoy it, and I've uh, you know I love Obi Wan. I've loved a lot of stuff that Disney Plus has put out. This feels, and maybe it's just because I know Tony Gilroy's behind it, and I know that he crafts like television, television, and like prestige television. Yeah. This feels like it's going to be a little bit different from them, and I'm really excited for that difference. Yeah. Um. Because I think one of my problems with Disney Plus right now is that all of the shows have this um streaming on Disney Plus structure yeah. that makes them kind of blend together a little bit. Yeah. It's hard to draw the line between Star Wars and Marvel in terms of these television programs because other than like what is literally happening on screen, mm -hmm. the structure of how it happens um, 
I, I feel that structure a lot. Oh, yeah. I Dis feel the volume a lot. Disney has, like, found a formula that mm -hmm. works. Well, and, and that I think really worked during COVID yeah. to get stuff made. Yeah. And I'm hoping that now that we're easing restrictions and we're moving beyond COVID, we're going to start getting these series that feel like they're allowed to structure themselves based on how the show should be told and not so much how Around we do things on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah for um, sure. Because as much as as much as I love I, I love Mandalorian, Mandalorian two, Boba Fett, and yeah. Obi Wan, yeah. there are some similarities. Oh God, yeah. In like pacing that just like exists underneath them, and I think that those similarities are why there are people who really don't like any of the Disney Plus uh, streaming stuff, and it's because they they are kind of similar yeah. in a way. And so I'm hoping that the show, especially because it has 12 episodes, I'm hoping that it just feels different so that we get variety in these shows on Disney Plus. Because I do like the structure of those shows. Yeah. I just don't want that to be the only structure from now on. I want these things to diversify. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's 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 one of those interesting things where, um, you know, we grew up in the time where TV shows were all like the same length. Yeah, by, yeah, yeah. by a very, very They were 22 minutes, minutes or they were 42 minutes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, and 22 minute shows had a, were, were comedies. Yeah. And 42 minute shows were dramas and there was no like blend. Yeah, they yeah. had this like very strong structure. And then now with the rise of streaming services, Netflix or Disney Plus, they can make however many episodes, however long that they want to be. And I think for some instances, that's right. Mm -hmm. It's really yeah. beneficial because you can tell the story that you want to tell. But I think that... Also, there's like a saying that limitations breed creativity. Yeah. And some and a lot of those shows did really cool things because they're like, hey, it has to be this exact length. You know, mm -hmm. we have to fit it into a thing. And so I think it's going to be really fun them finding the balance in this like, um, I want to say post-COVID in the like this industry, mm -hmm. not globally because obviously it's still very prevalent. But in this industry where they've set up the restrictions, like they know what they're doing, mm -hmm. um, finding that line of whatever limitations to to blossom and be creative, but then also taking the things that they've learned yeah. through having this unlimited, like um, to, to having those lesser restrictions on like the structure mm -hmm. and coming up with like really cool and creative things kind of in that between. Yeah, I think the one thing would help for me personally is if shows had consistent run times. Like, I know that streaming allows them to not. Yeah. But there, there's always that weird moment in almost every Disney Plus show that we've gotten where there's, like, a 29-minute episode. Yeah. And it just feels like, oh, okay, that didn't really feel like an episode of the show, but sure, that's what we got this week. Yeah. And I, I think that, like, moments like that throw me off as a viewer because I grew up jarring. in a TV world. I yeah. think that if I was younger, like I think if I was a generation that had grown up with streaming, I yeah. wouldn't feel those things as much. And so yeah. I totally get that, right? I don't want to say that this is everybody's experience. It's purely mine. Um, no, I, I feel that as well. I, I think it is definitely a like a, a mark of our age and yeah. like when we grew up. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Guys, this trailer was really good. Yeah. It wasn't like crazy emotional. It wasn't, it didn't have huge moments. No. Like, the Saw Gerrera reveal is probably, like, the most, like, ooh, nerd moment, you know? Or the droid, maybe, but... Yeah, but even that, we don't know him yet. Sure, and his name's sure. B2Emo. He might be a dick. Yeah. And you know what? He might be the, the worst. The fandom will love him more if he is a dick. That's... Let's be honest. We love we love R2-D2. Yeah. Bit of a dick. Yeah. Chopper? Chopper's... A, no, Chopper is... Chopper goes beyond that. Chopper's a whole asshole. <laughs> And we love him for it. Uh-huh. And, we, and we, we just, we love the little guy. Yeah. Uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit that dislike button. Leave me in comments down below. If you dislike this video because R2-D2 is a dick, that's not on us. Hit the like button. That's yeah. on him. That's, yeah, that, that's not our responsibility. That is squarely on George Daniel Lucas. Um, <laughs> not. I actually don't know George Lucas' middle name. I love that everyone's middle name is Daniel to you. Yeah, it's an old joke and like, it's dumb. Uh, if you want to follow us around the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clarice Polaris. And as always, y'all, may the force be with you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.